How to recognize the Brazilian EE9 Cascavel. The Cascavel was built from 1974 to 1993, sold all over the world, especially to the Middle East, and more than 2,000 have been built. There are several variants, we will be focusing on the main one here. Here we have a Cascavel at a Brazilian Arms Expo. It's a quite a good little video for looking at a lot of the identifying features. So after you've been through this episode, uh, you can feel free to come back here and practice looking at the identifying features of the Cascavel, even with it camouflaged there on the gun barrel. Three points of interest about Cascavel. The original Cascavel was based on the United States Army World War II era Greyhound armored vehicle. The first Cascavels in the 1970s were actually fitted with Greyhound turrets and the Greyhound 37mm gun. And the Cascavel means rattlesnake in Portuguese. Okay, so before we get started here, I want to say this, and that is, pay particular attention to the hull on the Cascavel. The turret features are generally okay for identification purposes, however, they can change. The hull is a more reliable feature for identification. And with that, let's get on with the identification features of the Cascavel. The turret is centered in the middle of the hull. The turret has a flat back and sides and angles inwards from the base. The turret has a slight angled point at the front, as you can see with that red circle there, when looking at the turret from the side. The rear of the hull is flat with the engine grille visible, and you can see that there with that red circle. The grille sticks out slightly from the hull, again you can see that there with that red circle at the rear of the vehicle and the rear wheel guards are on either side of the grille and once again if you look in that red circle at the, at the very back there you, that is noticeable too. There's a triangular shaped spacer between the last two sets of wheels as we can see there and we can see that with that red oval I have between the second and third wheel sets. On the turret there are two hatches on the turret roof one commander cupola or hatch on the left the gunner is on the turret right, and there are triangular cutouts on the turret base on the left and the right. And I've highlighted that there with a little yellow oval there at the base of the turret on the left looking at it. The turret angles inwards at the sides from the base. As you can see that, if you look there, you can see in this photo how the turret angles inwards slightly. The upper glacius is sl sloped, and you can see that with a big red oval there on the upper glacius plate. The lower glacius slopes under the hull. And note how the lower glacis has cutouts by the front wheels. And you can see all that there in that red oval on the bottom there. Here we can see the driver position is on the left side of the hull. And I have the driver there highlighted with that red oval just below the turret. Here we can see there are three wheels on each side of the hull. We can see a hull seam starting from the front of the hull along the sides to the hull rear. Now, if you look at that, at that whole seam, you can see I have, I have those red arrows there, and that kind of follows the seam of the hull. The sides slope up from the front. There are triangular angles at the hull front on both sides, and I have that there. It's kind of hard to see here, but if you look at those two ovals on the left and the right at the front, they're actually highlighting kind of triangular shapes there, little angles there. One is partially blocked by that front mirror. And there's a cutout in the hull on the left side, and that's down, down past the end of the turret in this picture. And you can see that little yellow oval on the side, just up straight up between the second and third wheels. Well, it's wheels, if you look directly above that, you'll see that little cutout where I have that yellow oval, and that'll show, that, show the part that I, or the space that I'm talking about. And you also have here the hull angles inwards above the hull seam. So once again, as I said before, the hull angles inwards slightly above the hull seam. And you'll also see that the hull slopes upwards from the front. Okay, so I made a bit of a typo here. What I want you to see here with that yellow oval is there's a there is a large space there between the first and second sets of wheels. Also here, notice how the hull slopes inwards between the first and second set of wheels. That is the lower hull, which once again, once again, it's shown by the yellow oval there. And the very front of the hull angles in slightly at the sides, triangular shaped. And you can kind of see that there with that red oval just above that front tire. These ones, these cascavels here belong to the Iraqi army. Okay, and so that's it. And thanks for watching, everybody. Good night.